Grown apples are hitting store shelves. At the same time, the next big thing in apples produced by the U of M fruit breeding program is close to getting a new name. Shane Wells joins us from the Apple House in Victoria with all things Apple this morning. Hi, Shane. The scoop on apples is so juicy, you guys. <laughs> ah, mm. but um bum. Nice, right? Right? There is so much in built into this industry. It is just fascinating to me. But one of the exciting things, you know, we wait every year for these locally grown, Minnesota grown apples to hit the shelves. We're at the Apple House and Sweet Tango's here. I came this weekend here and this had already sold out. So they've got some bags here across. We have Zestar out as well. And of course, First Kiss, that was the apple I showed you uh, in that break that was gigantic. Jim Elskamp is the farm manager here at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. We appreciate your time. It's Oh, peak glad, season, glad right? Here. Yes. It's yeah, we're starting busy. to get really busy. Okay, so tell me what, what's happening with the apple season this year. Where are we at? Well, things are running a little bit late. Okay. Um, probably a week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks late for some of the things. Um, stuff is starting to roll in really well now. So um, as the season gets stretches out, it will it will get a little bit better. So okay. They, they, things have a tendency to tighten up a little bit and get more on track as the season goes. You said so. the second the doors open here at the Apple House in August, people are like, oh, do you have honey crisp? Absolutely. Do you have honey crisp? Yes. Even though we know those don't come yeah, till later. Correct, correct. Um, the general public doesn't always know that. They see it in the grocery store all the time. It's, it's sure. widely available. It's stored really well. So, um, but to get, to get fresh stuff, you're looking at um, mid-September. So. Wow. Okay, so that's where we're at. And when you say fresh stuff, I just have to know, I mean, the orchard's like behind you. Yes. And then they come right here. These yep. apples are yes. truly yep. unbeatable. From the ones in the store that have traveled. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little places. different. I mean, it, you can pick them. You can pick them at the ultimate ripeness. So right. everything is ready to go. You know, comes in here and we sell it. So can we take a little Absolutely. jaunt down to the other end here? Okay. So as as we talk about this honey crisp, everyone wants it. All these new varieties. There's another one that is growing. Yeah, we have getting we ready have, to go. We, yes, we're always looking for we're always looking for new things at the research center, and they have a new one. They have a new one that they're working on naming rights for right now. So once that once that's released, we'll let you know all about it. But it's a does it honey, have a honey, number even yet? It does have a number. Okay. I was told I can't let you know just okay. because of the. It's still going Top through the. It's still number. going through. It's still going through this stuff. Okay. Um, getting it named, but it's honey crisp texture, nice fruity flavor, so um, it should be fantastic. I mean, it never disappoints all the new varieties, but it is fascinating to me. So it's growing out here. It's growing in yep. many places yep. right now as they test it. Correct. So you're almost, you almost have a name, but then how long till we actually see it? Uh, it you know, it? It, it, hopefully if they get it named um, later this year or early next year, by the time you see it in the stores, it'll probably be f four, five, six years. Oh, wow. So it just takes time. So hopefully we'll have a little bit here, but then it goes really quick. If we get something in the Apple House, it goes fast when it's new. So. And how many test varieties are you growing out here at one uh, given time? Uh, it, well, it's a, the research station itself. We will, yeah. we will plant a, between four and 6,000 new trees every year. Four and 6,000? Yeah, all individual trees. So and then when they, do you get then, to taste them first and go, ah, that one's not uh, it? We will, we'll, we'll start as soon as things start ripening up. So they go through the orchard every week and try try them you know as they're getting ripe so it takes it takes a lot of time it's a long it's a long See, process this is it's so fascinating to me because we were talking about how you go to the grocery store and broccoli is broccoli and yeah. maybe there's a few things that have a few different varieties but for the most part apples it's just so it's, diversified yeah it's yeah it's it's incredible so it's it's fun to watch but they they started they started their their sampling um the second week in august okay they went through the orchards the first time to try and find stuff so they're, they're constantly looking. I was just, just talking with Dave Bedford yesterday, and he said they, were, they, they found a couple more that they're going to hang on to and take a look at, closer look at. So, awesome. And sometimes, that's, sometimes that sticks, and that's the one. Yeah. And sometimes they get a couple years down the road and go, you know what, it's not as good as we thought. So, so much work just going into getting that perfect uh, yeah, years, apple. Got to appreciate years of time. it. Jim, I appreciate your time so much. Again, we're at the Apple House uh, Arboretum. So it's about a mile past the entrance to the Arbore Arboretum. If you want to come check it out, they're open 10 to 6 daily. You cannot go walk through the orchards because, as you just mentioned, I mean, that's science and work mm -hmm. out there. But there is an orchard you can walk through at the Arboretum. Very cool. Good yeah. stuff. We appreciate all their hard work mm -hmm. and the tasty goodness they bring us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we all benefit. All right. Let's.